hello everyone so today i will be discussing the 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 idea about phase margin gain margin then i will also be discussing about stability then then i will be and then i will be sharing one of my doubt and then, then the solution of it so uh, let's begin yeah so uh, we know uh, why why what is negative feedback what is uh, what is st stability i believe that uh, my audience knows this so um, basically um, if our system is not going to vdd or if our system is not going to zero basically it's not getting saturated and if our system is not oscillating just like the case in oscillator then we say that our system is stable now for for that we have learned in our bachelors and uh, that that the omega phase crossover phase crossover frequency should be greater than gain gain crossover frequency now i will be explaining this condition why and how and uh, and in this video i will also be explaining what are phase margins and gain margins so uh, going ahead uh, so let me draw the the closed loop system this is g of s This. this is h of s and we are taking the feedback from the output this is output this is input okay so we know that closed loop transfer function can be written as to g of s M plus G of S, H of S. Yeah. Okay. Now uh, we we have we have always learned this uh, this in our in our studies that that for system to be stable, uh, uh, loop gain, which is which in our case is H of S. Uh, has to be the, the the angle of loop gain has to be to be less than 180 degree and uh, and that and the magnitude of g of s h of s uh, should be should be uh, uh, less than one if our uh, g of s and h of s is crossing the uh, if our g of s h of s is crossing 180 degree it's crossing 180 degree of phase right so uh, th these things we talk about for system to be stable here here the magnitude could be if in this case mod of g of s h of s uh, could be uh, greater than one or less than one anything should be fine but in this condition for system to be stable this this has to this has to follow okay now uh, from where does this situation or from where does this condition comes into the picture the thing is that if suppose if you see uh, this system what it is doing is some input is coming now uh, the input is getting multiplied by the forward transfer in g of s and we are seeing some output now the output is sensed from here and it is multiplied by some feedback factor h of s or sometimes we call it beta as well then that uh, from that feedback factor we are we are subtracting uh, the 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 input from here and then we are generating what is the error signal what more needs to be done in order to get to the required output now this uh, this error signal will multiply to g of s and then again it will uh, change the output in the second cycle then again it will sense it and this negative feedback loop uh, let me write it this this negative feedback loop will try to correct my out try to take my output to the desired output so this is a negative feedback loop now uh, negative feedback loop is always there for stability uh, we try to get achieve our uh, output the required output uh, from the input through this negative feedback loop there are various benefits of these negative feedback loop but this video is not about that so let's not go over there now uh, whenever we talk about positive feedback loop, positive feedback it is about unstability so uh, so like uh, in the case of oscillators or schematic triggers or uh, in other circuits the feedback is positive which will take our 
input from uh, some xyz value to vdd or it might take it to zero so it saturates the saturates the output which is which is not required at times uh, right now we are discussing stability so this is the condition now the thing is uh, uh, this minus sign as you can see is giving us a phase of 180 degree now uh, uh, the the if suppose uh, angle of g of s h of s angle of g of s h of s that is loop gain angle is equal to 180 degree or higher than that so basically uh, suppose if you have given some signal like this over here uh, this now uh, after one cycle, since 180 degree uh, phase shift is given by a negative sign, 180 degree phase shift given by GS and HS, it will it will not subtract basically. It will add up because it got 360 degree revolt, right? So uh, so after uh, multiplication of G of S, G of S, H of S, whatever the uh, uh, gain is, loop gain is at particular frequency, it will get added up in, even though we have a negative sign over here. So so uh, now we can understand that this error signal will keep on rising. Now, if the error signal keep on rising, the output will also keep on uh, rising or maybe decreasing, whatever be the case. Okay, so I'm just drawing it for a positive case. So it is rising. So basically, it, it has become a positive feedback. So uh, so it is there. Now let me uh, let me tell you about uh, my doubt and then the explanation of it. But I have few more points to cover. I guess let me see if I have it. Okay, so uh, I will explain you what is phase margin and gain margin using Bode plot. So, uh, now, okay, suppose we have a transformation of this kind. Okay, so clearly we have one pole over here and the other pole over here. Now this is uh, uh, 20 log of G of S, H of S and uh, below is, is, is the omega which is there in the log scale I and mean, we have already, uh, we have made these body plots. I, I, I am expecting that you know that omega is in log scale over here. Now, <clears throat> now if you see if I make a, uh, make a uh, base plot of it, so somewhere from here to maybe here somewhere from here to somewhere from here now this is 0 degree this is minus 90 degree and this is minus 90 degree so, okay. yeah, let me take some other color, maybe, maybe blue. Yeah, so at this point, it is at minus 145 degree, it will start to, uh, starts to decrease at a, at a point way before in that. So let me try it like this. It will keep on decreasing and achieve the final value at some watt over here. Now it has got a plot of minus 90 degree. Then again, some other pole is coming, so it will achieve minus 135 over here. Okay. Then uh, 135. It will keep on decreasing actually this plot. Something like this okay now it has achieved uh, 180 from here okay so <coughs> this is the this is a phase plot of the same uh, loop gain now what is phase margin and gain margin so we call uh, we call this point as omega gc that is uh, when our uh, when our uh, gain is one that we call as omega gain cross over frequency and this point is somewhere over here it is going to touch omega pc right so this frequency is omega pc omega pc so remember i have told you before that if omega pc is greater than omega gc 
system is stable omega pc greater than omega gc system is stable how let me explain you how so at uh, at omega pc we have a gain less than one so even though our system is uh, giving us 180 degree phase shift but then the loop gain is less than one so i will i will explain that how how exactly we are uh, able to achieve Mm -hmm. so uh, as we can see that this is <laughs> yeah yeah this is the one I was... so this is this thing okay this yeah this should work so this is this is the gain margin we have And what is the phase margin? So if we see at Omega GC, the phase was about to touch minus 20 degree, but it is somewhat lower, right? This, this is, this is phase margin. Basically, gain margin is the, is the amount of gain, which if we would have given to our loop gain, it would have given us gain more than one. So, at, uh, at a frequency uh, at a frequency where our uh, loop gain angle is going 180 degree the difference between the gain uh, 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 gain one and the, the amount of gain which we, we can give to the to the system in order to uh, in order to make a gain more than one is basically gain margin phase margin is when our system is crossing through a gain of one the the distance uh, of the of our phase the 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 distance of our phase from a loop gain of 180 degree is called as phase margin. So I have I have explained each and everything in terms of plot. So I think I think things should be clearer. And 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 now my, my question is so my question is about uh, this one only. So let me let me explain to you what is my doubt. So if I copy this part. copy paste okay so my question is like suppose if uh, yeah my question is if suppose uh, even if uh, after 180 degree even after 180 degree if uh, loop gain is less than one in order to 180 degree and in order to the phase of 180 degree if loop gain is less than one then the system is stable that's what that's what the that's what the uh, that's what the understanding is right so my question is how system is stable how because if you see if we are giving if we have a phase of 180 degree and 180 degree phase is given by a negative sign so negative sign is giving 180 degree and uh, this g of s h of s is also giving 180 degree so basically what we are doing is we are adding up the two signals we it's more like a positive feedback time so why uh, after after uh, 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 why if the loop gain is less than one the system becomes stable right that that's my question so i asked this to uh, one of my seniors uh, so he explained it uh, very well to me so let me let me explain you this way uh, yeah okay so uh, just take the example of g of s to be to be 1 h of s equal to 0.5 and this to be 1 okay uh, i will be explaining this point because as i said uh, mod of g of s h of s equal to less than uh, 1 so it is it is uh, 0.5 and uh, and uh, phase as i have said is 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 uh, is uh, 180 degree 
or more than that so we can replace this with a positive sign because it will eventually add up right so let's add up over here okay now if we think of this uh, let, let's let's make 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 the make the different uh, different states of a loop so when the loop will start it will go as as uh, one one multiplied by one will give first output as one now it will sense the sense the output the feedback will sense the output one will go to 0.5 and it will become 0.5 so one plus 0.5 it will become 1.5 then again 1.5 uh, will be multiplied by one and output is 1.5 now 1.5 by 0.5 it will be 0.75 right so 1 plus 0.75 it will become 1.75 now again uh, 1.75 uh, if i if i make it half so it will be around 0.8 something something right it will be i think uh, yeah, 0.87 so yeah then again 1 plus 0.87 will be call it it will become 1.87 something something I, I don't know the correct maths now it will go to somewhat what uh, uh, if i do 1.87 divided by 2 so it will be 0.9 something i guess uh, so, uh, yeah, one point, uh, one point uh, nine five around around. Okay, so so let's not go in the math. I'm saying that it is it is see the gain. The gain is getting reduced, reduced with each cycle. And if I have calculated it by my hand, it will eventually go in many cycles. It will lead to uh, lead to two two as a, a digit. So what's happening is in the first cycle we are seeing the output as uh, the first cycle, which is one. We are seeing the output as g of s and uh, u of s now in the second cycle we are seeing g of s u of s i mean uh, in the second cycle we have g of s u of s uh, now g of s u of s yeah so u of s is there g of s will be multiplied to that and this will be one more term will be uh, that will be g of s h of s so we have one uh, term of g of s into u of s now now g of s u of s will multiply to h of s and that term will be also added right in the second one g of s u of s and that will be multiplied by h of s which will be multiplied by g of s right so in the first cycle we had g s g of s u of s which is equal to one now in the second cycle we have one this this is one and then we have uh, this term g of s h of s and u of s this will become 0.5 right in the third cycle we have g of s u of s as usual plus g of s u of s h of s uh, and and one more term of g of s h of s u of s right so g of s uh, this term is also there then one more g of s h of s will be multiplied to this so basically i have written it not so one g of s h of s will be multiplied to it just so it will become g of s h of s square into u of s in the same way the fourth term will be there it will be added up in the fifth term it will be it will be there so what's happening is if we have g of s h of s uh, magnitude less than one uh, remember there was a there was a geometric series we used to learn a ar ar square and all those things if r is less than one we used to say that its sum will be a upon one minus r right in the same way the same thing will happen to it the effect of eventually the effect of the loop gain will make it uh, to settle up so basically if, if you see this this example with each cycle of loop it will it will settle up so it, it went to in the first cycle it went to 1 then 0 0.5 then uh, 1.75 then this 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 it will eventually go to 2 right so so this is how uh, uh, this is this is how this is settling up even after the phase of 180 degree so even the system when even when the system has gone to positive feedback then also the system is stable which is uh, which is very interesting to me and, and this was a very nice idea as i feel to be so i just felt like sharing thank you and uh, happy learning